Hi, I'm James, an e-foot and ankle specialist, and today I'm going to try and cover one of the most common questions that we get in clinic, can I continue to run with perineal tendonitis? So a quick overview of perineal tendonitis, it's a condition that affects the perineal tendons that run down the outer side of the ankle and connect to the outer foot. They help in turning the foot outward but they also help in assisting stabilizing the ankle when we hit uneven surfaces and the perineus longus helps with plantar flexion so pushing down of the foot as we try to push off when we walk or run. They're typically irritated by an overload or a sudden change in activity levels and that can cause pain, irritation and inflammation in and around the outer ankle. And it's for that reason that patients often ask if they can continue to run while they rehabilitate their tendon. So we know that strengthening is the best form of rehabilitation for any form of lower limb tendon. And while there isn't as much research for this tendon as there is for something like Achilles tendonitis or plantar fasciitis, uh, we treat it very similarly. So we generally allow patients if they've got low to moderate level symptoms, so that's typically from one to six out of 10 pain, to continue running as long as the pain doesn't spike the next day. So what we look at is if you do a run the next morning, if there's a sudden increase in the levels of pain that you had, that's a sign of an overload. So we typically ask those patients to rest for 48 hours. If the symptoms have decreased, then they can run again, but at a lower intensity or a lower volume. So in the initial stages, they usually look at run, strength work, rest, run, strength work, rest over a period of a week. So they have three rest days, two strengthening days, and two running days. If they struggle to control their pain, we typically ask them to reduce the volume or pace. We usually ask them to take out any hills, tempo, or stride work. That allows the tendon to come down a little bit as those activities place a little bit more stress on the tendon than running on a flat surface at a steady speed. Normally with the strength work for the perineal tendon, they might begin with some band work and that would progress into some standing heel raises with resistance from the outer side of the ankle and those will be done alongside the running and it usually progresses over a period of 4 to 12 weeks and during that period you can gradually build up your running if your pain allows it so it normally takes about 8 weeks until you're seeing significant progress in your running volume. Up until then you need to persevere try and manage the symptoms. The only time that we would stop people from running or recommend that they stop is if they can't walk without getting severe levels of pain. So if that is the case for you we normally recommend taping the ankle and we have a video on how to do perineal tendonitis taping yourself that helps offload the ankle, reduce your pain levels and we have some recommendations of shoes that you can wear if you're suffering from perineal tendonitis as well. Both of those are linked in the description below. They can help reduce your symptoms, allow you to walk more comfortably. When that is the case under the guidance of your physical therapist or podiatrist you can gradually begin a return to run program and that might be a walk run program or I generally prefer doing very short runs and then building up slowly over time. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you found the video helpful please like and subscribe to our channel.